So you finish turning your piece on the lathe. What finish do you use? Well, that's what I'd like to explore. I've prepared a piece of hardwood, divided it into segments, and I'd like to demonstrate different finishes and what they look like and how to apply them. When I started wood turning, I was recommended to use the U-Boot products, Triple E Ultra Shine, along with the Glow, and they gave a fantastic finish. And to be honest, I've been using them ever since, but I've also expanded my repertoire of the U-Boot finishes as well. U-Boot are an Australian product, as you could probably tell by the name U-Boot. So imagine you're ready to apply finish to protect your piece, your work. I'm going to put Triple E Shine on this first segment. It's going to give me a base to put a friction polish on top of. It was designed to work in conjunction with other products. It's not a standalone product. You'll find when I put it on that it will come up with a lovely shine, but that will dull very quickly if you don't put a, a polish on top of it. So the Triple E is great to prepare the piece to hold a friction polish. A lot of the u butte products are friction polishes. That means that they're going to require friction to harden. When you apply the product to the rag, you need to wipe it on the piece and when the lathe is turned on, you need to make sure that you don't stop moving that piece. So you need constant heavy pressure. That constant heavy pressure will create friction and that friction will create the heat. That's a good thing. It's that, process, that heating up process is what's going to set the polish and harden it. Now that I've applied the Triple E wax paste to the piece, it's ready to have the friction polish put on top. This U-Butte product is Shallow Wax Glow and it has got a bit of shellac in it. To apply the glow, don't put too much. If you put too much, it will streak and blob and then you basically have to cut it back and start again. So put a little bit on the paper towel I like to just spread it out on the towel a bit and by hand we're going to apply it to the piece like we did with the Triple E. Then we're going to turn the lathe on and towards the end of the process we're going to turn the lathe up. You need to work fairly quickly with flow. You need to keep moving the wad of paper towel or cloth around, otherwise it will start to grab or pull. Now in order for this to set, we're going to turn the lathe up to a fairly high speed and we're going to put constant heavy pressure on and we're going to feel it heating up. It's the heating up process that will set the polish. I'm going to turn it up and it's going to start heating up. It's already hot. It's quite hot now. Good. And you should be able to see the machine that's on there. On this segment, I'm going to use the U-Butte Shallow Wax. This has been designed to be applied to raw timber and it will bond with the timber. It won't provide a coating, it will fuse with the wood and you can do it all in one application.
this segment I experimented with triple E and then applied the shallow wax over it and it's given a lovely sheen but it's also provided a coating. So if you want that raw wood feel but with a bit of sheen, the shallow wax is a perfect finish for it. So the advantage of the shallow wax is that you get the same appearance in the finish but you get the feel of the wood and the wood grain, so it's much more tactile. And it's only one application, so it saves time and it's very easy to work with. Now, if you don't want a really glossy finish, you might want to have a look at the Ubute Shallow Wax Cream. This is good for wood turners, wood carvers, wood workers. It can be applied by hand. It won't give you the same amount of gloss, but that's sometimes a good thing. The next U-Butte product that we're going to use is the it's the Shit Hot Wax Stick, only in Australia. This we're going to apply directly onto the piece while the lathe is running. I've already put a base of Triple E and we'll put the Shit Hot Wax Stick on top of that. <laughs> I've applied three coats of the Shit Hot Wax Stick to that segment. It's come up a treat, it's got a nice sheen to it. I can feel the, the timber through it, it's got a bit of a waxy feel, obviously. I like it because it's in a stick, it's easy to apply, there's no mess, and it's a great finish. For the last segment, I've applied a base of uh, mineral oil. It's the food safe mineral oil. A lot of people are looking for something to finish their bowls with, etc. And this will soak into the wood, into raw timber. The idea is to let it sit overnight if you can, and then apply a couple of coats of wax, buffing in between. Allow the wax also to dry, give it probably 10 to 15 minutes to dry, come back and buff it and you can just keep adding, adding layers on. Why the wax? Because the mineral oil soaks into the wood and if you want a sheen or a luster, the wax will give you that. The next U-Butte product I'm going to use is white shellac and I have just quickly modified a bowl that I'm working on to illustrate uh, how this is applied. If you're using a, a blonde wood or a pale wood, it won't discolour the wood any more than that wet look uh, will. So it's terrific when you're working with pale woods. I like to dilute it a small amount into a glass or plastic container. And I like to do two thirds white shellac to one third methylated spirits. I've sanded the front of the bowl to 400. I've applied two coats of diluted white shellac with methylated spirits, and I've just cut that back with 600 grit sandpaper. Then I've applied another two coats of diluted white shellac. I'll let that dry and cut it back. The idea with shellac is that the more coats you put on, the richer the effect will be the richer the look, uh, you'll get a lovely depth to the timber. So look, we've put on six coats now. We've sanded to 400, then put on two coats, sanded to 600, put on another two coats, sanded to 1200. So now when this last one dries, I'm going to get some 0000 steel wool and put some wax on it and just buff it up. This has been an introduction to some of the U-Butte products. This been... As you can see from what we've worked on, there's not a huge amount of difference. It probably all comes down to application, texture and gloss. If you'd like any more information, click on the links below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Tracy Milady and thanks for watching.
And uh, I think, no, I don't think anything. <laughs> <laughs>